Okay, so here's a shot of how many amps we're pulling on the lights currently. About 14.3 amps with you know all the lights on. I got 19 light fixtures, two bulbs in each light fixture. And you know the fluorescent type, the T8 fluorescent. So that boils down to about well, three quarters of an amp per light fixture. But uh, you can see how it's, you know, three quarters of an amp isn't doesn't sound like much per fixture, but when you add them all together, I mean, 14 amps for lights is a lot. So we'll compare this after we're all done switching over to LEDs. Okay, we got one done. It's hard to tell on camera the difference in lighting. But this one here is done. LED all rewired, LED bulbs are in. Let me see if I can refocus here. See the LED tubes in there. But it's hard to tell on camera the difference between the, the two. I mean, definitely a lot uh, uh, brighter white on the LEDs than the fluorescents. But I want to do one more and then I'll show you guys what my process is. It's kind of a daunting process. It took about an hour to do that one so hopefully they'll start going quicker. Okay so I, I got two of them done. Um, this one, the second one didn't go as bad. Um, went a little quicker now that I know kind of a better way to do it. So them two are done. Um, I got the third one on the bench. This one's the one I'm going to show you how or how to do it. Um, I've had these lights for a while. You can see how dusty and dirty they are. But I got these uh, lights from Menards, or the Performance Plus shop light. Just kind of a generic uh, four-foot fluorescent light. It's, you know, they do got a ballast in them. They're electronic ballast. They're real small ones. But that's what we got to take out. So let me. Uh, I'll flip this. Flip this over and uh, we'll take the bulbs and everything out of it and I'll show you how to, how, at least how I am doing this anyway. Okay, so the first thing we got to do is uh, we got to take these bulbs out of here. Um, these are fluorescent uh, T8 bulbs. They're the Sylvanias. Uh, looks like they're 75 or 6500K, 32 watt. Um, just kind of your average, your average fluorescent bulb. So we just twist these, pull them out, just like that. We'll set these off the side. Okay, so the first thing we gotta do is take these both end caps off here. Um, I'll start with this side. We got our, our plug-in cord here. Uh, we're gonna use just a, a flat, flat uh, screwdriver, flathead screwdriver. And they're just clips that hold these plastic covers on. So you get in here and, and uh, just twist it, and it pops, pops that loose. Flip it over, give it kind of a smack, and it just pops right off. So I'll, I'll turn this around so you can see what's kind of inside of here. Okay, so we just got you know the electronic board in here with going to each each uh, side of the bulb, I guess you could say. These are capacitors, so these are your, are your uh, more or less your ballast right there, electronic ballast. So, we're gonna pull that out of there. So this just pops off, just like that. We'll pop the center, <coughs> excuse me, pop the center piece out. That just pulls up. Set that off to the side. So that, exposes our, our wires inside. So what we can do right now is we can just go ahead and start cutting um, these wires off of this board and pull this board and everything right out of here. So let me grab some wire cutters. Hopefully you guys can see this all right. So I'm just gonna snip the wires as close as I can to the board. Cause like I said, we're just gonna throw away this board anyway. Okay, I think that was all of them. So then there's just two little clips that hold this board in. You just gotta pry them over and it'll come right up. So I have one finger behind the board here and I'm prying over on this clip. 
that one come free. And we'll do the same thing to the other side here. I know my fingers are in the way, you can't really see, but you get the gist of it. So we're gonna pull that right out of there. We got one more wire to snip here. Okay, so that's that board is out, garbage. We don't need that anymore. So this can come right off. Let me, uh, I'll show you, you can't use this side for these bulbs. Let me, uh, how can I show you that? Let me show you the instructions here. These are the instructions that come with these particular bulbs. They're uh, the Sunoco lighter, or Sunoco's TA 18 watt LED, tu LED tube ballast pass, type B. Um, these are, are non, are for, for non-shunted, um, tombstones. So here's the, the instructions for it. You can see right here we're just we're just gonna connect power or not power and ground but uh, your, your positive and neutral to one side of the bulb. Okay. <clears throat> so by doing that let me pull this wire out of here quick and I'll show you why you can't use this side. So we got to pull our power cord out. Okay. <clears throat> so let me get in a little closer here. Hopefully you can see that okay, but you got this here, these black wires are just for the pull cord to switch here. That we're going to bypass that. We don't need that either. So minus the black wires, all I have in here is just the uh, two yellows one for each bulb. So I really can't use this side because I need both sides of the bulb to have you know power. Your power in neutral. So I mean I could pull this apart and, and re-solder and all that kind of stuff but it's easier to do just on the other side. So all these wires right here we're not even going to use. These are all useless. We'll leave them in here but we don't need them. So now we'll get the other side off. this power cord aside for now. So I'll try to work on this end so you guys are a little bit closer to me here. Hopefully you can see all right. So same process, just snap these clips loose on the bottom and then flip it over. Put your screwdriver on the, ta on the top, give it a little tap. That's going to loosen that top clip up. So now we can just pull this right off. Okay, so there's the other cover. I don't think it... Yeah, the, the covers are a little bit different, so you can't mess them up. You got one side that's cut out here for the power cord, so that's how you tell from each side. So now on this side, you can see there's another control board in here. This one's got to come out as well. But this is the side that we're going to use to connect all of our wires to. So let me go ahead and pull this out. So we're just going to pull it right over like that. And we're just going to clip, clip these wires all as close as you can to the board. Because these wires you're going to use. Okay. This is the other board that we don't need anymore. Garbage. Now leave this wire going from side to side, we are going to reuse this, so don't throw that out. So now we're left with, on this side, you can see that we have a wire for each side of that bulb, okay? That's what we need right there. So it's all we're going to do is we're going to strip these wires, strip them back, strip the, the sheathing back, and we're going to splice Splice together, splice together, and then hook up to this. That's it. So uh, let me, I'll probably speed the video up at this point. Because um, you guys get it. I'm just going to strip the wires and hook them together. Now hooking them together, you can do it many different ways. 
You can solder them, which I actually did do that on my the first uh, light that I did. I soldered it all together. But it takes a lot of time to do that. Um, and honestly, these this wire is a solid wire, so it's hard, kind of hard to, hard to solder it. So all I'm using is just these, just regular butt connectors. That's all I'm going to use to hook all this together. And then you'll need a little bit of wire, which I got. You know, this is just a, a 16 gauge wire. I'm just going to hook, just going to cut a little piece to be able to hook these two together. So let me, uh, I'll, I'll fast forward the video and then I'll show you how I set it up once I get it all done here. Okay, so I got, we got these wires all stripped. Like I said, these ones are a, a solid, uh, solid wire, they're not stranded. <clears throat> That's all I needed is I just need two pieces of short, you know, this is probably what? maybe four inches long you know roughly doesn't have to be exactly that just two of them so I can connect them two together okay so I got one side done hope you can kind of see what I'm doing here so this right side would be let's see if it'd be your right <laughs> your right comes over here and connects to this side right this right side okay so I'm gonna do the same exact thing for the, the now the left side on each one. Okay, so I got that side done now. So left's connected to left, right's connected to right. So now I'm gonna strip this. I'm just gonna connect one side and one side. That's it. All right, so now I got <clears throat> my two sides connected. Now guys, <clears throat> excuse me, it doesn't matter which goes to which. You know, it, I'm sure, you know, electricians will say, tell me, yes, it does matter. And it probably does maybe, but it'll work. I've already done two of them. Because we're working with uh, AC current here, so it's alternating current. So it's just gonna keep going through. It isn't like uh, DC where you got direct, where you got a positive and negative. So. This will work. It doesn't matter which side you hook it up to. Um, so this, this end is done. This end can go back together now. So we're going to put this end back together and switch over to the other side. It goes back together the same reverse order as far as these plastic pieces. You know, they just, this piece snaps in and kind of holds there. And then you snap the cover on and it's good to go. Okay, so we got this cover snapped back on. Sometimes they can give you a little bit of trouble, you know. And all the lights are, you know, all these lights are different. Um, at the end of this video, I'll, I'll show you, you know, where I got this from, how much I paid for it, all that kind of stuff. So now I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip it over. I'm gonna start working on this end. So uh, these these uh, factory wires that come with it, they they're close as far as being too short, but as long as you cut them wires right at the board, you'll have just enough wire, okay? So, we're gonna, we're gonna strip these ones, these wires, we're gonna stick them in here, and that's all we gotta do is hook up our, our uh, power cord to it, and then we're done. So let me get these wires stripped, you don't have to do it right now, it doesn't really matter when. But we'll get it done. You also got, on this particular light, you have a little ground strap, grounding, because this is metal. So this is a little ground strap for the metal. Make sure that you hook that up, hook that ground up. Excuse me. <clears throat> so these wires, they just go right into the bottom of this connector here. We're just going to push it through like that. 
give us plenty of room to, to work here. Now how you're going to make up that, you know, that little bit of extra that we're kind of a little bit short with, we're going to do it with, with the, the wires on the power cord. So you're going to take off the little plastic keeper and we're going to strip this back and we're going to, so, these, so we got more wires to work with here. So this is your plug-in wires here. So you got your, your power, your neutral, and your ground. So you're just going to literally hook these, the power and neutral up to here. What I've been doing with the last ones is this wire is kind of white. So I'll hook white to white and black to brown. And then your green ground goes to the ground on the, on the steel plate. Or this, the light. You know what I mean. These, this just goes back in here, and then we got our plastic clip that's going to go back in. And you can kind of judge how much wire you're going to need. You know, I'm probably going to have it somewhere in there. Yeah, give me a little bit more. Something like that. And then we get out our pliers. I'm going to squeeze this clip. Then we're going to stick it back in the plastic. Maybe. Okay. So now we got our power cord lengthened and snapped back in place. So now we just gotta hook up these wires. Um, and how I'm gonna do that, I'm just gonna use these brown or these blue connectors. Like I said, you can solder these, you can, as a matter of fact, the first one I did, I did wire nuts. Um, them worked, but I just don't have very many left. So and I'm running short on these connect butt connectors too. So let me twist these wires. Get these all straight to go. We got white done, now we're doing black. Okay, good connection. Hope you guys can see this all right. So we are basically done right now. Um, what we gotta do is we gotta put our centerpiece back in. We can't forget about that. We'll tuck all these wires kind of a, down in here a bit. Just like that. Oh, we'll just kind of set this here for now. Like I said, these wires just stay right in the middle. So the center piece just snaps in. Just like that. in. So then now this, this black piece will just snap into place as well. And that ladies and gentlemen is, that's it. It's all there's to this one. So let me put some bulbs in it. We'll test it out. I forgot one step here. Okay, so these bulbs, which is kind of cool, they come with a little warning label. Let me see if I can get close enough for you to read it. So I think where I left off is we had this all back together. I'm sorry, the GoPro stopped recording on me. Um, got it all back together. Um, we we're just about ready to put bulbs in it. I forgot about the sticker that they, they sent with it. Hopefully you can read that okay. It's a little warning sticker to put in there, to put in the light. So it says, warning, fixture has been modified, ballast has been removed, do not install fluorescent tubes, use only 120 volt 
single end LED tubes. So it's kind of cool. Comes with that little sticker. We'll clean off a little spot here. These lights fixtures are dirty. These are just garage lights, so they're filthy dirty. There. Got a little warning sticker in there. So now we can put in the bulbs. So like like I mentioned, that warning label mentioned, these are single-ended. That's why we wired it the way we wired it. Um, so this end is, it says the AC input end on this end. So I know our power cords on this end, but remember we ran all these wires and made our connection on this end. So this is the AC input end. So we gotta put this end down here. So we'll drop that in, give it a little twist. Open up one more here. And this is the AC input end on this side, and it's got a little caps you gotta pull off there. They're just for shipping so they don't, the ends don't bend. Drop that in there, and twist. We're back together, so now that's all we gotta do is plug it in, test it, make sure it's gonna work. Let's give it a shot. Boom, there we go. Our wiring works, lights work. Now we just converted this to LED. Pretty cool, man, pretty cool. Let's get to the details of everything. Um, this video isn't quite over. Uh, we got three light fixtures done out of, how many do I have, 18 or 19? Can't remember. But the last part of this video, I'm gonna show you how much amperage I'm drawing when all the lights are done. Um, so that'll be the end of this video. But I wanted to at least finish you with this. It's gonna take me probably. So anyway, I mean, it's, taken, it's probably taken me, you know, without recording, about a half hour per light to do. So it's gonna take a better part of a day to get all my lights done. And I'm not gonna bore you with all that stuff. Um, taking up enough of your time so far, so. I'm gonna finish doing the lights, then I'm gonna end this video with a quick, you know, how many amps I'm drawing, you know, at, at, at the end of this. So I was drawing, um, uh, was it 14.3 amps we were drawing with all of them. And just with changing these three light fixtures that I've done so far, we're now drawing 12.8 uh, amps. So just with them three lights changed, we're saving one and a half amps um, of current, which is pretty significant. Um, so what does that equal out then to how much per fixture? Uh, so let's divide 1.3 by 3. So per fixture we're pulling uh, 0.5 amps. Um, so that'd be a quarter of an amp per bulb. So that big difference from them fluorescent lights. Uh, so we can kind of guess you know, we're going to probably a little bit over 5 amps once I get all of the lights done, which is a huge savings compared to 14.3. Um, so, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, so we've got a few of the things that you would need as far as your connections, you can do what you would like. You can solder the, your connections, you can use um, butt connectors, you can, you know, I know they have the new type of, you know, clip connectors. Um, you could use the, the screw type, you know, the, the twist lock type. That's just what I used was the butt connectors. Um, you'll need a little bit of wire, you know, to connect them, them terminals together. So a little bit of wire. Um, I know that's not cheap right now either. But as far as the cost of the lights themselves, um, the way, I got it from Amazon, which there will be a link below, which you can click on it. You can you can get them in packages of 30 or or 10, and I'm not sure if they do like 15 or 20 as well or not. Um, I got a package of 30 and a package of 10, but it, it equals out to uh, was it five dollars and fifty cent five dollars and fifty six cents per bulb. So for a two light fixture, you're gonna have just over you know well 11 bucks into one light fixture to switch it over to LED. 
Um, that's just the bulbs, that's not including connectors and a little bit of wire. Um, this, and then you're going to have your, your light fixture itself, which if you're doing it this way, you've already got the light fixture, so it really doesn't play into effect because nowadays, like when I first bought all these lights, they didn't really offer, I mean they offered LED lights, but they were real expensive. So I opted to go with these fluorescent ones at the time. I think I paid like $29.99 or something for each fixture. Got them at Menards. I don't think they're available at Menards anymore. Um, but this doesn't really matter because now you can buy an LED fixture for pretty much that same price. So it's that point is kind of mute. If, if, if you're going to get a fixtures at Menards, you might as well just get LED ones. But if you already have the fixtures, so you can't really justify the cost of the fixture because more likely you already have it if you're going this route. Um, so you're just going to have the cost of the bulbs, a little bit of wire, and your connectors. You know, for 11, a little over 11 bucks, figure your connectors and stuff. Maybe you have a dollar into it, so figure 12 bucks per, per fixture, and that's four foot uh, lights. So that, that isn't too bad. A um, little bit of details on these uh, lights. They are 120 volt lights, so there's no ballast, they're, they're direct connect. Um, which that I hope you got that from what we were doing here. It's directly connected, plugged into you know the outlet. Uh, they're they're four foot, the T8 style LED bulbs. Um, they're they're the 6000 K, you know, the daylight bulbs. Uh, they're called SEP, which is single ended power. So only the one end has power. That's why we had to wire it the way we did. Um, they're the bi you know, ballast bypass, obviously. Let me click on here. I'm just looking at the Amazon link on my computer here. Try to give you some details. Um, they say 18 watts per bulb. <clears throat> uh, the G13 base style. Uh, anyway, uh, the link will be in the description. You guys can click on them if you're interested. There's different variations you can get. You can get daylight bulbs, cool white or uh, the Daylight Deluxe, which these ones are the Daylight Deluxe. <clears throat> um, I don't know as far as quality so far on these bulbs, I don't know. Um, like I said, I've only got three of, or excuse me, uh, two, four, six of them up. And I've seen in the reviews that sometimes they say, well, we got them and they didn't work. Um, I'll update that at the end of this video when I do the, the amperage to let you know if I had any problems with the ones that I bought. Like I said, I bought 40 of them. So we'll see uh, We'll see if any of them don't work. Um, so I guess that's it for this video, guys. If you have any questions, if I forgot to, if I left something out, forgot about something, leave it in the comments below. Um, and then I'll, I'll answer it as best as I can. And um, other than that, thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next one. Okay, so we got all the lights changed over to LED. It seems to be a lot brighter, um, but let's check out the amperage. Six amps almost flat. So that was from 14.3 was the, when we started to down to six amps. So that's over half. Over half. I am liking that a lot. Better light plus lower lower amperage. All right, guys. This is what I wanted to give you that quick update after I uh, changed all the bulbs out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.